What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. That's right, the day has come. Finally getting around to putting in the air compressor kit in the back of this thing. And I, to be honest with you, I am super pumped about it. Uh, this has been a kit that I've been looking at doing for a long time now. Uh, if you've been following along, you'll know that I did buy the Viair Complete Kit with the compressor, the tank. It's a 100% duty cycle compressor. Side note, from the last video, the seatbelt bolts right here, these are the old ones. The new ones came, and they are an exact match. So you can see. So if you are in need of new seatbelt bolts, they're Torx, they're 50, the T50. Uh, if you're in need of those, check out the in the description of the last video with the carpeting. Um, I put the part number and where I got it from right down there. And I said to hold off on ordering because I wasn't sure if they were sending the right ones. But I can tell you those are the right ones. Now let me take you out in the Jeep here and I'll show you where those go. So you know that if it's these. I can't remember if they're all the same. If they're all universal. I don't think they are. I think some of them they're just they're not threaded all the way down. Um, but let me take you out here and I'll show you where those ones go. So those bolts are the ones, these are for the back seat, right here on the window. They go right about here. Um, I still have to poke the hole and then stick them through. But those are the bolts for those. Like I said, I'm not sure if the ones for the seat belt here are the same or the ones under here. And I really wish I had checked before I put all this stuff back together. But if you need the ones that, <clears throat> that hold these down, those are the correct ones. Uh, also, on a unrelated note, um, if any of you guys are wondering how strong this Walmart Yescom uh, side awning is, uh, it's pretty solid because it's actually destroying my garage. Um, so to get the Jeep in and out of the garage, I have to let a lot of the air out of the tires on the driver's side so that the rack comes down enough to get under the garage door and I usually I'll prop the garage door up like that with a clamp and then I'll back in. Uh, this time I actually forgot by not having the storage compartment in the back and all my gear the Jeep uh, is lighter and it got higher and yeah the old rack there just went ahead and took a big chunk out of the garage. Um, so if you want to know how strong they are that's that's pretty strong because yeah that, that happened. Okay, so here's the kit that I bought. Like I said, it's a Viair. It's the Constant Duty with the 100% duty cycle pump in it. It's the whole kit. It comes with the tank, the hose, the compressor, all your fittings. Uh, it says for up to 37 inch tires. My primary reason of getting it, um, I want to be able to, you know, air up and air down in the field. And if I need to run some tools, I mean, you're not going to get, you know, five minutes of Ooga Dugas out of this thing on a on an impact, but it'll help you break some uh, break some bolts loose. So that's always a good thing. As far as the kit goes, everything lays out really nice. Uh, they've got everything bagged and tagged. Each one's labeled, you know, what's inside of it. Here's the gauge. Comes with a really nice gauge setup, on off switch. Then you got your pressure switch. Everything you need for installing the tank, compression fittings, safety valves. It's really nice. It comes with uh, like rubber grommet mounts to reduce any kind of vibration noise. <clears throat> comes with the filters for the pump, uh, some extra filters, all the hoses that you're going to need, roll of power wire, uh, fuse. Instructions look really good. Nice and easy. Looks like the install is going to go really good. The plan is on the back side of the uh, storage system, I'm going to have it laid out something like this. Like I said, when I made this, I kept enough space back here that I could mount these back here behind it. And the best part is, if I need to take this whole system out, I'm going to have it on a quick quick disconnect so I can just unplug it. The whole thing comes out. The whole air system will come out with it. Because really, if I'm going to be using it, it's going to be in the Jeep. It's going to be for the Jeep. And then if I ever have to service anything, I can just pull the whole system out. But that's about how it's going to lay out. I still got to move some stuff around, make sure everything's going to fit. And then the cool part, <clears throat> because this is behind the seat, so the back seat is going to be, you know, right through here. So it's really going to be hidden back there. And I was really worried about heat buildup. So I got online. I found a nice 12 volt fan uh, that moves a lot of CFM while it's running. So that's going to keep the airflow. 
and I found this. It's a uh, like a countdown timer relay. So it'll go for anywhere from uh, three seconds to three minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire this in so when the compressor shuts off, that fan will keep running for about another three minutes to help keep things cooled off back there. Um, I've talked to people that do run this pump. Uh, with any pump, they say they do get warm, but they don't get like blistering hot. But I know being behind the seat, there's a chance of that. So like I said, the best part is, putting the fan in, I'll probably mount it right up here in the front. That way I get the nice breeze blowing across the pump, keep everything nice and cool. So while the pump is running, everything is on, the fan will be on. But then when the pump shuts off, cut the power to it, uh, it'll run for another three minutes, keep things really nice and cool. So like I said, the, the layout looks good. I'm really happy with it, fits on there really nice. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and start going through this, getting everything mounted up. All right, so real quick, what we're working with, I got the tank mounted. Uh, compressor is almost mounted. I gotta go get some longer. It comes with these tiny little bolts. They're just quite not long enough to fit through the plywood that I used and then underneath. So I'll just go get longer ones of those, no big deal. Uh, main feed light is in. I'm just getting into the wiring now. So I've got the, uh, load wire coming off the relay to the compressor i got the ground the main ground is going to go over and the main power will come through underneath um right now i'm just trying to figure out i got to run power over to the on off switch and then incorporate the automatic shutdown timer um <clears throat> what i did find was this has a light that comes in it and they actually gave me two light wiring harnesses instead of i think one's supposed to be for the light and the other one is like your your main line that runs over to feed it power this will be the main line i'll run over to the uh the back of the jeep where i've got that fuse block built in so that'll work that uh, other than that it's going together really good like i said it's just kind of slowing down now because i'm getting into the wiring and i want to make sure everything's good and connected and solid um i'm not going to run the light on the the gauge what i'm going to do <clears throat> around here on the front i'm going to mount it right here on off switch with the gauge i was going to run the light to it but really it, it doesn't matter that much to me on having the light because i'm going to be standing right here i got the lights on the back of the jeep that'll work it and keep it all lit up so that's just one less thing to have to worry about the air coil hose it's pretty stiff so i had to kind of scoot the tank over so that when the line goes in, it's got enough to kind of bend up and around and not kink. But yeah, it's going good. And then the fan, <clears throat> I'm gonna mount that right about here. So that way it'll keep the air moving across the comp uh, compressor, keep it nice and cool. Compressor is mounted, tank is mounted. For the wiring, we've got the power going to the compressor itself the ground coming off of the compressor. So how it wires up is 
The white wire on the relay is going to go to the compressor. Signal wire from the switch right here goes over to the on off switch. I'm going to mount it there. Uh, I'm going to loop power back in so it's always available. And I'll do that by linking the other end of the wire into the constant 12 volt wire. So at any point in time, I won't have to have the key on in the Jeep. I can just come back, flip the switch, and this thing will turn on. As far as the uh, countdown timer, what we have is black wire is going to be your ground, of course. 12 volt constant. So this one's going to wire in. I'm going to tap into the constant 12 volt. The green wire is I'm using for my signal reference. So I'm going to tap this one into the compressor wire. So when the compressor turns on, the fan's going to turn on, and then that's going to be the blue wire. Blue wire is 12 volt positive for the fan. When the compressor turns off, the countdown timer is set for three minutes. So that means the fan will run for three minutes after the compressor shuts off, and then it'll turn off. Now, if I'm using this thing a lot, in that three minute time, you know, the fan could be running, the compressor could be off, but then I could start using it again. Compressor kicks on, the fan will just keep going. So once there's no power for 12 or for three minutes, then the fan will shut off. All right, so we're back. The compressor kit is finished. The Jeep is back in the garage. Uh, what I have to do now is, uh, what I actually, what I did here, rewinding. I made a quick connector here. Um, just went to a rally. This piece was like five bucks positive negative quick connect So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come off the back here I'm gonna wire it into there and chase the wire down and around and have it pop up under the carpet and then at any given time I can just unhook this the whole unit slides out the back actually works out good slides right under that workbench I just roll it right up here to the back of the Jeep um, But yeah at any given time I can just unhook this harness and take the whole thing out <clears throat> and uh, don't have to worry about pulling air hoses out or unhooking anything else because like I said it's just that and then what I did over here I'll get a better view of it here in a minute um, this is the hose that runs around to the gauge uh, this thing is impossible to work with so I went ahead and used it though it's just a short span it goes down around underneath and then up front to the gauge up there and then on this side I put a shutoff and this is a three foot hose that wraps around to the front and has the quick coupler. And then <clears throat> instead of using this hose, which I'm not a big fan of, I went ahead and I bought a nice 50 foot rubber hose from good old Harbor Freight. But uh, for right now, we got to tackle wiring. Once I get that wired up, get the panels back on, uh, we can slide this thing in, plug it in, and we're good to go. So let's get cracking on this thing. What do you say? So really quickly, I went ahead and I had a lot of this wire loom left over, so I went ahead and loomed the whole thing. Uh, you can find this stuff on Amazon. This stuff is awesome. It really gives a nice OEM look to everything. Uh, pretty easy to use. You just slide your finger through it because it's kind of grooved at the end. You just chase it in there, wrap it around. It's good stuff. Makes it look really OEM. So let's get this wire chased through here.
All right, so it's in. Fits perfectly still. Everything back here looks good. The back seat, I still haven't put the back seat in because I still got to put these in. But uh, like I said earlier, this kit went together really good. I'm really happy with it. Can't wait to get out there on the trail and, and test this thing out. I got the cooling fan right there. It works perfect. Everything's all wired up. Shut down relay. Here's the plug. So at any given time, I can just pull this out, unplug it, and the whole thing comes out. And you got the shut off over here with the standard hose. That's a three foot like adapter hose that I got from Harbor Freight. And that comes around to the front <clears throat> where I've got the quick connector. Uh, for now, I can just leave this right here. And then what my goal is, get this guy out. I bought this hose, 3 8 50 foot rubber. Um, it was like $24.99. I got the rubber because, you know, in the wintertime, if you have those PVC hoses, they just, they don't move. They don't work. They're a pain in the butt to work with. So I went with the rubber. 50 foot should be plenty. And what I'll do, you can see how small this thing wraps up. I know it will never stay that way. But what I'll do is right over here on the side, I'll just put like a hanger. And then I'll just hang it right here on the side when I'm not using it. Um, it'll be up out of the way of all this. You can see there's the air hose that runs around in the front. So, you know, I'd have to carry the hose anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much that it's going to be over here because it would, it would have to be in the Jeep anyhow. And then way up here, you know, it's going to be over the wheel well, not really interfering with any electronics down here. So I figured that would be a perfect spot for it. And then when I need it, pull it out, plug it in, we're good to go. Got my solar cord right here. You can see there's the gauge and the on-off switch. Uh, I still got to tuck up the, the wiring and the hose under here, but that won't be a big issue. Um, so with no pressure in the tank, when I turn it on, it takes about three to four minutes to fully charge the system. It'll shut off right at 150 PSI, and it will cycle as needed. Cool. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Check it out. Off right at about 150 psi between 145 and 150 is what it says. You can hear the fan back there still running. Looking at the box, you can see there so a two and a half gallon tank from zero to 145 psi. Oh, this camera sucks. Uh, it's about three minutes, and then from 110. 145 psi so it turns on at 110 turns off at 145 it's about a minute and then it's got the sizes for the tires all right so the lights going out there you go fan turns off and like i said if the if i start to use the compressor again as soon as the compressor turns on relay gets power fan turns back on whole cycle starts all over again now we come back up here to the front, still holding pressure. I haven't found any leaks. I've checked a lot of stuff. I had one leak before from the uh, emergency blow-off valve. Got that tightened up, and uh, that went away. So, yeah, we should be good. All I got to do is turn it off. We're good to go. So, again, it's the Vier, uh Constant Duty Complete Kit. Comes with everything you need. There's a couple things I did change. Like I said, don't go with the hose. Um, and the mounting screws, I changed those because putting it on this, that was different, but that's no big deal. Everybody's going to have a different setup. But if you guys are considering doing onboard air, I highly recommend this kit. I know there's tons of other ones. I looked at the ARB. I looked at all the other stuff. But for the price and for everything that's in the kit, this thing is well worth it. So if you're looking to do an onboard air, highly recommend it. But... Other than that, that's going to do it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.